Hi guys, here I am, it's Jill in my kitchen. I'm preparing dinner for tonight and I said, you know what, let me videotape this so you guys can see exactly what I'm making. So many of you have the double burner grill pan. This is just such an easy, delicious recipe for you to make, so I thought I'd teach you. Now, thank you to Penny Parks for giving me this recipe. I've been making it for so long now, I can't get enough of it, so you have to make it. Anyway, let me tell you what it is. It's called grilled chicken cacciatore. I used three peppers, a red, orange, green pepper, sliced them up nice and thin. I took a pint of mushrooms, I sliced those up thin, and one onion. I seasoned it all up with whatever seasoning you like. I put a little bit of garlic oil on. I used my um, Italian seasoning. I used my onion rub, my garlic rub, whatever you like, whatever you have in the house. So I have, let me just show you what I have going on here. Do you hear all that sizzling? We're not in Benihana. We're in my kitchen. All right, so these mushrooms are cooking up nicely with the peppers and the onions. They're just getting nice and soft. And I put the chicken on here. I'm using chicken tenders. Chicken tenders really cook in like three minutes on each side. So I'm gonna let them go just for about another minute. Now before you put your food onto the grill pan, you just wanna make sure this grill pan is piping hot, okay? So let that baby go for a while, heat it up. I do it on like a medium to high heat. You never wanna go super high because you don't wanna burn your food, correct? All right, I'm moving my veggies around. My chicken is starting to get white underneath, so I know in about another minute, I'm gonna flip them over. Now, this grill pan, Normally you can make just fajitas, you can do shrimp, chicken on one side, your peppers and onions on the other side, um, but I did add the mushrooms to this because it just adds more flavor. We love mushrooms in this house. All right, I'm gonna peek at my chicken, and I want you to see, can you see that? You get these gorgeous grill moths. I'm gonna flip this all over. I wish you all could smell what's going on in here right now. Right. You need to use very little oil, as you see. I'm going to take another pair of tongs. So we're going to let this cook for one more minute, the chicken. And I should put this back on here. This just speeds up the process with my press. And I usually move it back and forth, um, as you can see. So when the chicken is almost done, I'm going to take it off, put it in this bowl, and I'm going to chop it up with these salad choppers. Doesn't everyone love a chopped salad? Well, guess what? You can also use it for this. So it's double bladed, as you can see, and you will have an amazing chopped salad. But I'm going to let it do the work for me, shredding this chicken. I'm going to let this go for two minutes. When you use the press, it just really presses down on the meat and makes it cook that much faster. So let me just get these mushrooms and peppers and onions. I used to always use just green onions, but I found out that the red, the yellow, and the orange are way sweeter, so I always buy those now. That's why they're always more money when you're food shopping, you'll see that. All right. Let's move this back here. I'm gonna take off the chicken now, so watch. The chicken is almost done, but not so. And we're gonna chop this baby up. This is gonna be delicious tonight. Let me move this around. Now I'll get these. They're just getting nice and soft. The thinner you slice them, the quicker it'll cook. So I made them Kind of thin. Now watch. Take the salad choppers, and I'm gonna chop all this chicken. I'm gonna put this down here so you can, I don't drop it. So if you can see how nice this shreds this, and once I chop it up, it's gonna go back in here. Let me just get every last piece, and it's so easy to use. Let me see if you can see. Look at that. All right, so you can make barbecue sliders. I'm telling you, just grill up chicken, you chop it up, put some barbecue sauce. Dinner's done. 
right, one more piece under here. I'm gonna throw the chicken on here. Let me just give one more chop to this baby that was underneath. Okay. And watch. This is gonna cook for about 10 more minutes. But first, stock up on your Rayos when it's on sale. My Rayo's marinara sauce, I'm going to take one jar, pour it right on top, and this is all going to cook together. I don't know if you can hear this, or if you can smell it, but... Alright, I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes, as I said. Penny told me to take a quarter cup of red wine and put it in here also. Adds a nice flavor to it. Sorry, no wine tonight. I'm just going to do this. We're going to let this cook. And I'm telling you, you can eat it just like this, a nice big bowl. Or you can throw it over rice, throw it over pasta. Dinner is done. I hope you all try this. Um, it is really delicious and it's totally low fat. Hope you enjoyed.